Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I have this uh, Teade. I don't believe if I got it mixed up or anything, just let me know. This is a SSD, a portable SSD, and it has a USB-C connection. It's actually pretty nice. See that? Ah, not me. That. Yep. See that? So it has USB-C connection. Um, just nothing happens. You plug it and nothing does happen to it. Um, I've made an, uh, other videos about um, similar ones like these. Uh, these are pretty much like an enclosure for obvi obviously it's an enclosure for it, but it's so you're able to actually use it for a USB-C connection. These are usually a standard M.2 drives. I'm not sure if this one will be M.2 SATA or M.2 NVMe. They're, those are different protocols that they do have for certain types of uh, SSD drives, especially like this. Usually we, I like to call them like a stick of gum. That's usually the shape and size they usually are. This one obviously is a little bit bigger, but um, for this one, I just want to see if this is actually going to go ahead and work because usually it does for these type of models, especially if you get no power, nothing. There has to be something connected to this, right? So there is a regular SSD drive in here, and then there should be an enclosure. There's another board. There's another point of failure. And hopefully just by removing this, we can actually show you guys how to save some money and how to get some data on there. So um, before we get started, guys, uh, we love always showing you guys a lot of information. We have another video like this uh, on a Samsung one. It's a T5 portable SSD we actually did as well and you guys can go ahead and check that out but always the way we like to put information out there for you guys a real way to actually help spread information spread love would be if you guys just hit that like button it's just right down there just won't take too long just put the cursor there just hit that it really does help us a lot and you'll definitely be helping someone else anyways let's go ahead and take a look at this and uh, see what we can do really for the data and so these um if it's especially like a USB-C, usually it's on some of the higher end models or maybe like a macbook so we're definitely going to be prepared for that. So maybe it's one of those two things. Usually what this does, these have to screw somewhere. Um, I showed this on the other one before. Uh, maybe you could take a little flat here and there should be a little cover case and that should probably come off. There's probably like a screw or something. Yep, see that? See that easily just <laughs> kind of came off just like the other one because they're all pretty much the same. Most of the stuff is pretty similar. So now you have uh, two Phillips head and let me go ahead and get my screwdriver. And all this is, is it's an enclosure so you can use it as a USB-C. There's never any like fancy um, drives, boards. Oh, is this going to slide out? Mm. Uh, kind of come out. There we go. Now it came out. You see that? Oh, they even make their own SSDs. I didn't think. I thought it was just going to be like an enclosure or something. Sometimes they can just slap on like another thing. So you see this? There's just an enclosure. There's a board here. So there's lots of points of failures when this does happen. So you get no power, get no light, nothing. Um, so that's what we're looking for here. And there's a little screw on the top there we probably want to remove. We want to do that, and that's so we can actually access the drive itself and see what it is from there. Oh, it's a Phillips head. So, so you can go on the bottom here. See that at the top? And you can go ahead and just remove this. There we go, just like that. And now the SSD should come out. Now what we want to do is go ahead and see uh, what the problem is with the drive. Um, this one, most likely, we can try it. We can try to see, because usually this connection is usually a SATA connection. And... Uh, if it's NVMe, that might be something else. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if uh, this is a SATA drive or an NVMe. I think this is a SATA, if I'm not mistaken. USB 3.1. It doesn't really say there, but let's go ahead and try our SATA connection and see if it's going to work. So what we do is we have here, we have an adapter for this. This is our uh, M.2 SATA. M.2 to SATA. Um, M.2 is just a form factor. Um, it still is a basically like a SATA connection still. Um, if there's an NVMe, you might need a different one. So uh, for other drives, you might need something different. Okay, so now I have an adapter to an adapter. Um, so this is gonna be our SATA. I can go plug in, this is like a sled. So what this will do, my adapter is going to another adapter and then it's going to a USB because the end connection here is a USB. So I can plug this in that and let's see if it'll actually come up and see if there's any lights. I expect there will at least be lights there because most likely there's gonna be a failure there. But if not, this one is it's gonna be a problem. If not, so let's go ahead and connect it. And now I'm gonna go hit the button and see what happens. Okay, so you heard that, it came actually right away and you see that, that light, that was good. But let's see if it came on our thing. I didn't see any folder pop up or anything, so. Okay, so I have a bunch of disks here, but it's showing this one, it doesn't show the name or anything like, like it, but it does show that there's a 240, uh, 256 gig, even though it says 240, uh, that's a little bit formatted, but you don't see it up here at all. Um, you can see it's active partition, well, this actually could be a Mac drive, and that's what I'm going to think it is because it's a USB-C connection. So let me go ahead and get my Mac real quick, and we'll go see if they'll connect directly. All right, so I'm going to plug in the Mac, and let's see what we get. All right, so those come up right away, which is good. So this is a Mac drive, so there should be lots of data. So let's click it see what we see. All right, I can't really show, obviously, because there's uh, information there. 
but there is lots of data here and it's pretty much a simple uh, fix we just needed to use it on external looks like that internal um, SSD enclosure went bad anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to recover the data from a Teade Teade how do you say it leave in the comments down below I'm actually curious on how you actually say it but um, this is the external SSD that we have and there's the drive inside there we were able to get the data off and everything else. It was a pretty uh, more straightforward extraction to do that. But it's a good way to show, show it to you guys so you guys actually know how to do it and everything like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of data recoveries, liquid spill repairs. Show you guys lots of cool stuff. Lots of easy stuff, too, like this one. And subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.